So the samurai had a concept called Mizu no Kokoro. It means simply mind like still water, mind like a pond or one of the carved stone uh, bowls that you'll see outside of a dojo or uh, shrines. And if the water's completely calm and you look at it, you can accurately see your reflection. So if the mind's like that, then you can accurately see what's happening. For a warrior, since the universe, when it presents problems, presents the solution inherent in the problem, for the warrior, the ability to stay completely removed from your emotions, your bias, your prejudice, and have your mind spirit, kokoro, like a mirror, it allowed you to see the problem clearly, and therefore you could also see the solution just as clearly. So learning how to stay calm, learning how not to get emotional, learning how not to let your biases, your feelings, your beliefs, and your opinions get in the way of reality was critical for the warrior. It's completely different in modern times where that gets in the way of everything. But that's not real. We're in society in a state of non-reality right now, and it's being pushed and it's being pressured, people are being pressured to, to go along with this non-reality as if it was actually real. Obviously, no good can come from that. You wouldn't fly in an airplane designed by people that designed the airplane like that. You hope it wouldn't even get off the ground, okay, or gain any type of velocity because it can't function. So, for the warrior, whose prime directive is to protect and defend, the kanji, bushi, which basically translates to warrior uh, in Jap Japan, Japanese, means one who stops the spear, one who protects and defends. And there's a concept in Shinto called musubu. And musubu means to bring forth peace. So the warrior has a duty and responsibility. One is to protect the society from evil, and there's lots of evil in the world right now. And the other is to bring forth or facilitate peace. If the male doesn't take up his genetic role to protect and defend, if he doesn't take on the responsibility and gain the capability to take care of other people to protect and defend the society, that society will then collapse or be taken over by somebody else. So we have a genetic responsibility to the women, to the children, to the society to gain the capability and have the willingness to look out for other people to stand between them and danger. The satsujin ken, the sword that cuts down evil, is katsujin ken, the sword that gives life.